Hi everyone, my name is Francisco from Celex. Uh, welcome to this first video tutorial um, about Celex, the procedural engine. Um, in this video we will do a pyramid city, so um, let's get started. Um, first thing you want to do is create a new project, so I'm going to call it Pyramid City. There you go. So now I'm going to create the the graph. We're going to we're just going to use one graph. So I'm just going to call it Pyramid City as well. So the first thing we want to do is to create the street network. So we're going to create a path. And in the, that pa uh, path, we want the type Voronoi. Uh, there's different types. We're going to choose Voronoi. Um, the width we can leave at 100 for now. Height as well. We're going to do the spacing of 20. That will ultimately define the, the spacing, uh, how big of a, a space between the paths you get. So as you can see, let me get that down there. Okay. So uh, now that we've got our path, we're going to create a mesh through using that path. So path, so mesh create. And from that, we're going to see that the primitive is from the path. So then we can link the previous path that we created to the mesh and you can see already there's some white lines um, I'm gonna put the width a bit thicker so two and okay there you go the lines are thicker um, and I'm gonna say that I want closed inside so between in between the path I want it closed so and now I, need, I also need to define the different sections so in this area here you can define um, the variable that will keep either the string inside or path dep depending on whether the mesh is part of the path or the inside in between the, the, the paths. Uh, so I'm going to call this um, path section. Okay. Now we're going to create a node called mesh select so that we can separate the path from the insides so here we're gonna create a custom uh, type of selection and we're gonna access wait, wait, first we need to change this condition from fixed to expression um, so that we can actually create the condition that we want so right now I'm going to say that path section needs to be equal to, and I'll show you what the, the string has to be. So it's either inside or path. So in this case, I'm going to say if it's equal to path, um, yeah, it separates. Uh, I'm going to choose um, in this case, I'm going to choose face, so that will give a new scope to each part of the, the path. Uh, and then I'm going to add a new section which will take on the rest. Um, and that will take on the insides of the in between the path. Um, okay, so now that we've got our two sections, I'm just going to create a new node, I'm just going to use a new node which is mesh material just to give you a different color for the streets. So now they're red, I'm going to change it to black. There you go. Okay, now I'm going to create um, in inside these, uh, the, well, the insides of the in between the paths, I'm going to 
give it a bit, a bit of a, an extrusion so that we can create a sort of a pavement uh, in between the, the pyramids and the actual streets. So I'm going to use the node mesh modify and I'll connect that there. You can see that the, the amount of extrusion is probably too much so I'm going to uh, put like half and that's probably too much as well but let me just see well it's a bit it's just, you, that way you can notice it so I'm just gonna leave it like that um, <clears throat> and then what I'm gonna do is uh, now <clears throat> select the because now the insides have like the top layer and then they have the side size as well. I'm going to select only the top part of the in, of the, the pavement. So I'm going to do a mesh select. Mesh select. And I'm going to say that the direction is top. So that will separate the top. Um, and then we're also going to want to get the rest. Okay, so uh, now that we now we have the top separated from the rest, um, we're going to offset the the top of the um, of the pavement so that uh, we can we can have the offset as the the pavement and then the rest will be used to create the pyramid. So I'm just going to add another extrusion, mesh modify, yeah, it's already, wait, first of all, no, first I'm going to, exactly, first I'm going to, it's not the extrusion that we want, it's the offset, uh, exactly. So we want, we want a negative, um, offset so okay so now that we've got the offset um, we can select we can separate the the offset part from from um, the inside the rest of the inside okay so in here we will want to Add a custom. First of all, we need to again in this operation the offset. We we will need to separate. Um, we will need to create a, a variable that will have either inside or outside as a as a string, uh, so that uh, we can separate that with the mesh select. So I'm going to write. I'm going to choose pavement section, and here, yeah. We're going to choose expression, and if we put the pavement section equals, um, let's say, inside. Okay, and we have. You can already see that the pavement's missing, but once I add the rest, yeah, now it's it's there. Okay. Um, so now that we've got the inside, uh, we can add a material to the pavement. Um, let's mesh material. There you go. We're going to give it a bit of a grey. To, well, it's a reddish gray. Uh, we're going to add it there. You can already see that the, and you can also add that there so that the sides are also the same color. Uh, now, what we want to do is we want to make the extrusion of the remaining uh, pavement, or well, the rest, the, the rest of the, that isn't a pavement. The, what's in white. So we're going to do mesh 
modify there you go so what we want to do here is we will have the extrusion but the method um, will remain the same uh, it will, sorry we would we won't have the extrusion we will have pyramidize exactly uh, and then we can define the height let's say that the height is 20 uh, 20 exactly so now you can see that the pyramids um, have a yeah, yeah are a bit higher we'll give it a bit um, of a different color mesh material we can choose a yellowish color okay um, so let's just say that we want um, different heights for these pyramids um, and possibly also different colors so what we can do is add a random node uh, random exactly and we can add it here so as you can see um, now that we've got this random node we can add attributes and we're going to add a float that goes in between 10 10 and 20 and that will be for the building's height and then we can come over here to the mesh modify and the pyramidized height variable we'll change it to expression and that we can add b height there you go when you run it you can see that now they're different sizes now let's say that we also want a different colors for for the pyramids a different tones of yellow so or brown um, or in between <laughs> uh, let's go to integer and say that we want something because we're gonna deal we're gonna use um, the 255 uh, different tones of red green and blue let's let's say that we want colors that go in between 150 and 255 and we will have that be called B color okay here we can change this to expression and use a list so red we will have at B color green we will have B color and blue we will have zero so that will give us different tones of yellow for the pyramids so with this uh, this finalizes our first tutorial these are short videos that we want to make um, uh, and you know, uh, with some regularly uh, so let us know if you enjoyed it um, there's also something that I didn't do which I can do now at the end which is as I mentioned change this from a hundred to let's say 800 as you can see. there you go so all of a sudden exactly so you can see now we've got 800 by 800 city pyramid city um, there you have it um, I hope you enjoyed this first episode um, in in this case I didn't integrate it with the uh, unity maybe I can do that in a in another video 
Um, let us know what you also want to see us develop. Um, uh, also, you have to consider that we have uh, we're trying to make the, the videos short, so it can't be something uh, too extensive. Um, we'll leave more information in the description section. Um, thank you for watching and subscribe uh, to get the new videos when they come out. Bye.